Program Director at Peninsula Gymnastics in San Mateo, California. This is Madeline, and she'll be my helper today as we begin our Intermediate Conditioning Lesson 1. Let's go ahead and start with a simple warm-up. Madeline's going to start by doing a slow jog. So now Madeline's just going to jog, and we're just going to work on running and keeping our endurance up. So while Madeline's jogging, I want you to really think about jogging. Don't give up, even if you're tired. And now let's try to sprint. Fast, go. Fast, 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 fast. And back to a jog. Very nice. And think about while you're jogging, making sure your knees are coming up in front of you and not behind you. And sprint fast, 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 fast. Good, keep going, keep going, keep going. And back to a slow jog. Good job. This helps you to get your endurance up and make sure that you can run for a long period of time. And one more time, fast. Very nice. And back to a slow jog. And relax. To catch our breath, let's take three big deep breaths in and out. Very nice. Opening up your chest, breathe in and out. Very nice. One more. Breathe in and out. Great job. Let's go ahead and get right into our lesson. The first thing we're going to do is start with our straight stand. You may remember this from conditioning in our beginning levels. Here we go. Straight stand. Arms are up. Ears are covered. Nice, tight elbows reaching up as tall as you can. From here, Madeline's going to step out to a side lunge, and arms are going to go to the side. Very nice. Make sure this knee stays straight, and this one is nice and bent. And back to a straight stand. Knees are straight, reaching up tall, and side lunge to the other side. Keeping this knee straight, eyes nice and high. And let's do two more just like that, a little bit faster. Straight stand. Beautiful. Side lunge. Very nice. Straight stand, side lunge. Good, nice tight muscle, straight stand, side lunge. Very good, straight stand, and side lunge. Beautiful, back to a straight stand. Arms come down and relax. Great job. Now we're gonna turn to the side and do a simple pipe stretch. So Madeline, if you could turn this way, good. Madeline's gonna squat down, hands are in front, good. This is our squat position, knees are together, toes are together, and hands are in front. From here, we're gonna push straight up into a pipe stand. Madeline puts her hands down, trying to place her full palms on the ground, keeping these knees straight, and we're gonna hold. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, let's rest back into a squat. Now, if it is very hard for you to put your full palms on the ground, just use your fingertips. Madeline, this time, let's just show with our fingertips on the ground. Here we go, push back up to pike stretch. Madeline just has her fingertips on the ground. Keep those knees straight. We're gonna hold that five, four, very nice, three, two, and one, back to a squat. Beautiful, the more you work on this, the more flexible you will become. Each time, you should push a little bit farther and try to get your palms all the way down on the ground. Let's do one more, just like that, five more seconds. Hands come in front, and push straight up. Knees are straight, and hold, squeezing all those muscles. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, let's squat back down. And now Madeline's gonna turn to the front and do a big straddle sit. Very nice. Now, in straddle, it's very important that you keep your knees facing the sky. They never come out forward. Toes are pointed, sitting up nice and tall. Let's put our arms out to the side, and we're just gonna hold this position. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. And let's rest, hands go down. While you're sitting in this position with your arms out, you are using a lot of muscles. Using these muscles to make you sit up tall, squeezing in here, and making sure your toes are pointed. So really focus on squeezing everything and really getting a workout just sitting in a nice pike stretch. Let's do, I'm sorry, a nice straddle. Here we go, arms out and hold. Five, four, three, two, 
three, two, and one. Hands come down. Now this time, we're gonna reach forward and try to do a pancake. So arms are gonna come out. Good, they're gonna come up to her ears. Beautiful job. And now she's gonna simply slowly stretch forward. Now, make sure these toes are pointed and again, knees stay straight up to the sky. They do not roll forward. And Madeline's gonna hold this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Sit back up and relax. Now, we're gonna do this one more time. Madeline has a great pancake and a straddle stretch, but not all of us are this flexible yet. So make sure you just go down as far as you're comfortable. The more you do it, the better you'll get. Arms up and leaning forward, nice and slow, keeping those toes tight. Knees straight and hold it. Five, four, three, two, and one. And let's come up. Beautiful job. From here, Madeline's gonna bring her legs together in a pike. And to help you see this better at home, we're gonna turn this way and Madeline's gonna put her toes towards the red and lay down on her back. She's gonna bring her legs up and into a pike position. Now, while you're in this position, you wanna make sure that your bottom stays on the ground. It's not ever pushed up into a candle and that your knees are super straight and toes are pointed. From here, Madeline is going to do a series of flex points. Let's show one first and then we'll go ahead and do 10. So Madeline's gonna flex as hard as she can. Again, knees are straight and then point all the way to the sky. That is considered one set. We're gonna do 10 sets together. Here we go. Flex, point, one. Flex, point, two. Flex, point, three. Great job. Flex, point, four. Flex, point, five. Halfway there. Flex, point, six. Flex, keep those knees straight. Point, seven. Flex, good job. Point, eight. Flex, point, nine. Last one. Flex, point, ten. Beautiful. Now staying in this position, we're gonna do some straddles, okay? This will help us to stretch out our legs and really use our muscles. We're gonna do seven of those, but first I wanna show one first with Madeline. So go ahead, Madeline, and open into a big straddle and back to a pike. Very nice. Now while you're doing these, let's rest your knees. Bend your knees and rest for a second. While you're doing these, you will feel a lot of pressure in here in your tummy. You are using your tummy muscles as well as your leg muscles to make sure you can make a big straddle and pull them back together. Try to do as many as you can. If you need to take a little break, take a break, but get right back on track with us. Okay, let's start in a pike again. Point, good. And now we're gonna do seven of them. Here we go, open, straddle, and close. One, straddle. Close, two, straddle. Close, three, straddle. Good, straight knees, close, four, straddle. Close, five, straddle. Close, six, good, straddle. Close, seven, very nice. Great job, now that you've finished your straddles, I'm gonna have you put your legs down. And Madeline, if you could sit up and make a squat for me. Squat, and let's turn around the other way. We're gonna get into our front support position. Now we've talked about this in our beginning conditioning uh, videos, and now we're gonna work on it some more. So Madeline's gonna walk her hands forward. Good, and remember this front support position, you wanna be as much as you can be in one line. Do not let your belly sag down and look like this, and do not let your bottom stick up like this. You wanna be one nice straight line, looking forward, and here, this is called front support. Let's hold it for three seconds, squeezing all your muscles, your knees, your bottom, all these tummy muscles. Here we go, hold it. One, two, three, four, and five. Excellent, now you're gonna walk your feet back into a squat and rest for a second. We really wanna think about making sure your front support is really tight, because that's what makes 
it possible to do a great push-up. So this time we're gonna go back to a front support and immediately after we hold it, we're gonna go ahead and try a push-up. So squeezing, we're gonna hold this front support with nice straight knees. Hold it, five, four, three, two, and one. Now staying right here in this position, Madeline's gonna show us one push-up. So Madeline's gonna bend those elbows, keeping her legs nice and straight and push straight back up. Beautiful. So as you can see, Madeline kept her body shape in a beautiful tight body shape the whole time she did her push-up. We're gonna try three all together in a row. Here we go. One, good, taking it nice and slow. Two, try not to let your chest or any part of your body just fall on the ground and stay there. Three, excellent, good job. Now walk your feet forward to a squat. Great job. Now that we've worked out our arms and part of our tummies, we're gonna get into some stomach exercises. Madeline, let's turn around this way. Good, scoot forward and sit down. We're gonna get back into that laying pike position. So now we're gonna do 10 curl ups. We worked on our arms and legs and now we're gonna get our tummy in great shape. So Madeline's gonna show one first. So keeping these knees straight, toes are pointed, arms are next to your ears. Madeline's gonna try to reach all the way to her toes. Beautiful, now everyone is different and that's fine. We're gonna work our way up to trying to touch your toes. If you only touch your shins for now, that's fine. Just keep working on it and you'll improve every day. Here we go, 10 all together. Ready? Ready Madeline? Here we go, one, two, good, keeping those knees straight, three, four, good, five, six, seven, eight, nine, beautiful, one more, 10. Great job. So if you have a family friend, a partner, a parent who can help you, it's great just to have a little resistance here to make sure that these feet don't drop out of the way. So if you have a brother, sister, family member who can help you with that, that would be great to do that together. Okay, Madeline, let's roll forward. And we're gonna turn around for a better angle. And we're gonna scoop back just a little bit. Work on some tuck lifts. So arms are gonna come out. Good, and Madeline is gonna bring her knees towards her chest and wrap her arms around. One hand on each leg in a nice tuck position in the air, no toes touching the ground. And open back up and hold, beautiful. Okay, let's do 10 together, here we go. One, and open. Two, great job, and open. Three, and open. Four, Good job, and open. Five, good, keep going, and open. Six, awesome, open. Seven, open. Eight, open. Nine, good job, and open. Last one, 10. And arms out, and rest, good. Now, these are pretty difficult, but we're gonna try a little bit harder. This one we're only gonna do five, and these are a pike V-sit. So arms are gonna come out, same motion, but your legs are gonna stay super straight. Madeline's gonna bring her legs up and down. Beautiful, because these are a little more difficult, we're only gonna do five. Try to do as many as you can. If you need to take a rest, do so, but hop back in with us. Here we go, one, two, three, four, good. Last one, five. Great job, Madeline. Okay, hands are gonna come down, and we're gonna get into a squat position, and like we did in our conditioning in the beginning levels, we're gonna work on our arch hold. So Madeline, if you can squat, and Madeline's gonna lay down on her stomach. Now, an arch hold, we've done this before, is simply just lifting our arms and legs off the ground and making sure our tummy is the only thing that stays on the ground. Let's lift up, arms and legs. A lot of times these are called Superman or Superwoman because you look like you're flying through the sky, but this is actually a very hard exercise. 
So squeezing those knees, squeezing those ears, holding your tummy. You're just gonna squeeze everything for five seconds and relax, relax for a second. Let's do three together. So when you go up, really think about not coming down early. Try to hold on till the last second until I say stop. Here we go, Madeline, lift up. Arch hold and hold one, really high. Two, three, four, and five. And relax back on the ground. Try not to just let your body fall to the ground because you're not creating control in your muscles. Take it very slow when you come back down to the ground. Here we go. Arms and legs up again and hold. One, good, really high. Two, try to push yourself as hard as you can. Three, four, and five. Slow down. Beautiful. Now we're gonna do one more just like that and I really want you to hold on as hard as you can. Your tummy muscles are probably aching right now, but that's okay. You're making them stronger every time you do this exercise. Ready, lift up and hold. One, as high as you can, make this one your highest. Two, three, keep pushing. Four and five. Very nice, nice relax. Good job. Now we're down to our last exercise for today. Madeline's gonna roll over on her back and we're gonna do our hollow body holds. We've done these before, but we're gonna show one just as a reminder. Madeline's hands are gonna come down to her thighs. She's gonna bring her head off the ground and toes off the ground. Now, this is really hard on this stomach here and your core muscles. Just squeeze as hard as you can, and we're gonna try to keep our heels together, tight body, and we're gonna hold these for five seconds. Relax for a second. Good job. Now, in between, I'm gonna give you a chance to lay down and relax, okay? While you relax, really think about making yourself better and stronger each time you do these lessons. Every time you can continue to do a conditioning lesson, you're only making your body stronger. So here we go. Hollow body hold. Ready and up. Go. One. Squeezing. Two. Good job. Three. Keep holding it. Four. And five. Relax. Good, nice and slow on the way down. Do not just throw your head back. Make sure you take time to get back down and control your muscles. Good, deep breaths, and we're gonna do two more. Here we go, hollow body. Go, one, two, three. Good job, keep holding it, four and five. And relax, very nice. Take some deep breaths. And this is gonna be your last one. Let's make it your best one. Ready, hollow body, and up. One, two, good, three. Keep holding on, four, and five. Great job, and nice and slow down. Good job, Madeline. Let's roll forward to a squat. Beautiful, and stand up. And if you can stand over here on the green. Good, now, you have just finished the first conditioning lesson in the intermediate levels. We hope that you enjoyed your lesson. As you moved up to the intermediate levels, you've definitely mastered the beginning levels, and we hope that you'll continue this program and get stronger each and every day. Thank you, and have a great workout. See you next time. Gym on, gym on, gym on, gym, gym. Let's go! Gym On is a place I wanna go. Get strong and fit, ready to roll. Gym On is where I wanna be. Get flexible with my family. Gym On is what I wanna do. Stretch out and learn with you. Gym On, Gym On, Gym On. Let's go! When I say Gym On.